Hey guys, it's Daros Probs here, and welcome to this command block video. Today we're doing generators again. I know I did this the other day, but this is different, guys. This is like a placeable generator, okay? Now, I am so over the moon with this. I think this is awesome, and you could use this for so many different map ideas. I don't know, prisons, my recent map I just released, generate, I could uh, implement this into that where you could place these down and it generates just that item or block, okay? You understand what I show you. So I got here an iron pickaxe and an iron axe and I am just gonna smash this and grab this, okay? Now it says here, place the required blocks on the piece of glass or whatever to generate them, okay? So if I place this here, the iron generator is on. Yes, you could add some sound to that as well. But as you can see, now I get iron nuggets. Yes, I'm on survival. But if I don't want that one anymore, I can break it. It goes back to what it was, and it says it's off. And I can get myself the wood. I can place that. Same sort of thing. But this one generates more wood. Okay, so it generates three at a time. Okay, you could add as many as you want. I'm just trying to show you quickly. Okay, and again, I'll break that and it breaks and then I can do it again. Cobblestone, chuck that down and we get ourselves a cobblestone generator. Again, you can make that as fast as you want, but yeah, let's get into the commands and I will show you how this is done. I think it looks so smart. It looks very professional and I'm over the moon with that. I think it's great. Maybe it could help you come up with something other than just that. Maybe you can make it generate dragon eggs. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to help you here. So game mode C, let's go into that. And this is all the commands. It's a lot of rep repetition here, um, but I'll just show you the cobblestone one for now, okay? So this is using test for block, okay? So it's just testing at a certain coordinate, cobblestone. You might be able to do this, so you could do it where when a player places it in front of them wherever, it will probably work. But I kind of ran out of time and this is the best I could do for a minute. <laughs> but I still think it's pretty good. Uh, so that has got two comparators come out of it. One of them is just for the title, okay? It's saying it's off and the cloning. This is all optional, but I think it makes it look a lot better. So that is just cloning that, obviously where it was. And that's just saying on, okay? This is the comparator next one, okay? And this is just teleporting the armor stand to this location here, okay? So it activates the spawning mechanism for the cobblestone, okay? Then that goes into a repeater. You might wanna see that, but it's pretty basic. You've probably seen that before. Then it goes into a repeater, and then this is just telling you what it is. So it's a cobblestone generator. And then this, obviously, when this activates, it deactivates this torch. But as you know now, this is all activated, okay? So this will teleport the armor stand to this location. That means it will turn it off, the generating, okay? So basically, I'm just moving this armor stand back and forth to turn this off and on, okay? And then all this is just cosmetics, you know, like subtitle off. Say in the cobblestone generator again, and then it's just cloning. Like I said, you could put a sound at the end if you wanted to make it even more. I didn't know. <laughs> and then this little chain here I got here is obviously this armor stand will just keep going on and on and on <laughs> like that. And that will act just obviously keep activating this, which is just making it go in a circle. So it's like a clock. I've showed this before. And that's just going into that dispenser. Yes, you could clone that, but I just didn't for this video because, again, I was short on time at the time. Time, 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 time. Uh, yeah, I said time a bit too many. And obviously, that's just spitting it out to this one. And this is just teleporting it 5.5, okay? Now, that is so then a hopper could pick it up. But for this example, I've made this. So I didn't show you this. So if you wanted to be a cool little cheater, you grab yourself a hopper. Oops, it's two peas down. Nope, that one. 
And once you place this, you cannot use that. <laughs> da da da. You cannot use that. And uh, you get it back, okay? That's just a little extra I've put in. That is obviously it's just again, I'm just showing off this test for block. So obviously it's testing for a hopper. It doesn't matter what damage value it is, which is really good. So whenever it sees a hopper, that activates that comparator. That will obviously destroy it then by using air. So if you just put air, you wouldn't get the item back. It's entirely up to you if you want to give them the item back if you're nice. And then you can just write a little message like, that's banned or whatever. But that's pretty much that. Um, for the wood, I just added a bit more of a chain. You could obviously just make this up in your head. It's not very difficult. But some of these are just on different, you know, time loops if you like. But that is pretty much it. It's just placeable generators on the Bedrock Edition. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Darren Ross Probs, and I hope that you like this little command.